Now, you know, I'm growing with Harold Beecham, you know, Guts Rotoval, those guys, Gunter Banker, those guys were my guys for two years, and we grew together. And it was a special moment. I think we had one of the best years in Bonn cause it, to myself because, you know, I had fun while I was in Germany. Uh, tell you the truth, no, not at all. I think it was nobody knew what to expect from Harold Beecham at all, you know, even myself, me coming in here and uh, me getting to know him and see what type of player he was. And it's like, he was like an unknown, you know, commodity that you didn't know what you was going to get. And that happens with certain players. When you have a guy on your team, you never know what you're going to get from that player. But Hurl brought, brought his game every game for basketball, for sure, all the time. And, uh, and I think Bruno Sochet brought the best out of him as well. And he was that great motivator type coach that knows how to get the best out of you. Uh, I think more of a leadership role. I think, you know, with my experience with Coach Smith being like a, a coach on the floor, extension of, of Dean Smith, I think I brought that type of leadership when I got here to Bond. And uh, I think the guys followed what I say. You know, I, I wasn't the type of guy to come in and try to score all the points. I tried to get my teammates involved first. If I needed to score, I scored. But uh, I think the guys felt comfortable with me because I, I kind of like just controlled the tempo. I, I was out there every day in practice. You know, I worked hard. So me coming from a program like North Carolina, I think the guys kind of respected me more of going, coming in and doing the work and, and even showing it on the court. So I think the leadership quality of myself of learning from Dean Smith kind of helped me coming to basketball. Uh, totally two different coaches. Uh, of course, Dean Smith, you know, arguably one of the Hall of Fame, one of the best coaches that coached the game. but. Coach Smith was basically like, he had players that he has to juggle the egos and guys that had to play a role. And he knew how to get you to a moment, how to play the role on your team. Because all guys that came from high school, all great players coming out of high school, and he knew how to mold great players together to make them play as one team instead of being individuals. You know, he had a great gift of, you know, putting you in a situation like, you know, I need you to do like this. I need you to be the rebounder. I need you to be the screener. I need you to be the passer. He knew, he knew how to delegate to each guy and make them accept their role. And that's, that's very hard to do, me being a college coach, to tell my players what to do. So they, it's hard for them to understand. But he had that gift of knowing how to get to his players in that aspect of the game. Uh, Bruno, like I said, he's more of a motivator. You know, he pushed you to, you know, push you to where you need to be. Uh, you're not, you might not like it sometimes, but the results happen with him. So it's like he'll get on me, or he knew when to get on me at a certain time to motivate me. That's, that's what, what Bruno did very well. It, it took, it took a, a little bit. Uh, first, we couldn't understand you know, his, uh, his methods. And uh, until you start seeing results, then you start to understand more. I think that's what most people, how they are. They got to see results most times instead of saying, hey, this stuff is hard. You know, he's pushing us too hard. You know, he's out there working us. And he's like, and like you just got to continue to work, work, work. And you see the results, then you, then you understand it more. And then we start to gel. You see the results and you just start to play the way you're supposed to play. Uh, I think one thing he, he did for me, he kept me in great shape. I'll tell you that one thing. I think no other coach kept me in, like, in the best shape of my career. And uh, even though he did have me playing a lot of minutes, but just the, the way we trained every day is like we are the better shaped team. That's it. That was like one, one of his things. He knew the fourth quarter the other team would be tired, but we had the energy to continue to go and keep on pushing. So, you know, the, and the one time we, we got the virus with Hurl, so, you know, to go back to that, <laughs> you know, it just like, it kind of just the, the way he trained us made us push through the virus type deal and get us going to where we need, to the level we needed to play to during the middle of the season. You know what, I thought that was really big for German basketball, having that game. And uh, it showed how much the basketball was growing in Germany and having all those people in one arena cheering for, you know, each team had fans, but it's just the whole part of it is like, wow, this is, this is a, a big event. 
And I, I think you just wanted to show your best against one of the best teams in Germany and prove that you're one of the elite teams. And having that game kind of, I think, was a standard of, all right, Bond is moving up in the rankings in the, in the Bundesliga. And uh, I think we just wanted to show that, hey, we can play with the best team. And playing in the Cologne Arena was like a huge stepping point for Bond to be one of the best teams in the league. I think the fans, the fans is number one. I think they still stand up to somebody scores a point and they always, I think the fans here have the great energy and they know the game or they love watching the game and, uh, and they support their team. And I think nowhere else I've been playing in Germany has these type of fans that's here in Bonn. And I think the key of walking in this arena, I was like, this is like real special because I think the fans deserve a great arena which, you know, everybody else is building arenas too, but I thought this city here needed an arena just like they have now here. And, uh, but I felt Hartberg Hollow was great too. I thought it's like one of the toughest places to play at. And the fans is really on you, like real closed in, and they cheer for their team. And I felt like when I played on the court at home each year that we couldn't be beat because it felt like the fans were like six men on the floor. And it felt like they right there and people wouldn't, was, I think they were really nervous coming to the Hartburg Hall to play against. But this here is very special too. I think this is, it gets more people in the, in the arena, more fans to join in. And this is special. I think it's like it grew, it kept on growing and growing. And I think it's just a real good thing to have an arena like this. It's very, very beautiful.